town has only raised taxes in five of the last 14 years for a cumulative tax rate increase of less than 1% each year because the economy was still recovering. So things got delayed and our recent increase was really about due, but our tax rate is quite average for our area. This is not to say that we don't need to try to avoid steep tax increases on residents wherever we can, but spending and property tax increases are not the only factors in the equation. We need to be realistic about the tax revenue from property in Chapel Hill versus its cost and services. Joe Minicosi, who's a planner at Urban 3 in Asheville, has done very good evaluations of Asheville's urban tax value by the acre, where he shows that a single family home will bring in 19,005 in taxes per acre, while a six story mixed use building will bring in 624,000 an acre. He did the same analysis for Chapel Hill some years ago and found the same relationship. Therefore, having more town acreage with high value uses that will yield a higher return per acre will lessen the burden on the average homeowner. We can do some of that by redeveloping less productive and attractive land uses like strip malls and replacing them with these high value uses that will also create more jobs. In addition to larger tax value, adding density where infrastructure already exists makes it less costly for the town to operate and maintain compared to that with the sprawl or sparse forms of development. So when we can increase tax revenues without increasing tax rates, we can have our cake and eat it too.